Hello and welcome to episode one of Ken Plays Crash Landing. It's been a long time since I've done any YouTube videos. A um, long time ago I did uh, Xbox videos and none of them that I actually talked in. So what we're going to do is I think I'm going to do a Let's Play because hey, everybody else is doing one so why not me? Um, so this is Crash Landing. It's in the uh, FTP launcher, and I'm just gonna kind of treat this like a tutorial. And I'm gonna assume my audience is um, someone who's never played Crash Landing before, maybe somebody that's never even played modded Minecraft. So I'm gonna try to talk about things and explain things. And if you already know what's going on, hey, sorry if I bore you. So this is the Crash Landing. And there's a lot of different mod packs out there for Minecraft. The majority of them, you just take a bunch of mods and put them together, and that's basically it. What uh, makes Crash Landing special is that there's a few mod packs where the, all the mods work together. It's a, it has a storyline. Most mod packs, there's no storyline. It's just there's the mods. So... The storyline here is we had our spaceship and we crashed and we're on this deserted planet. There's just, there's nothing. It's just all dust everywhere. Uh, so here's our spaceship. Um, we've got some water. Uh, this is our, I guess our fuel. I'm not sure what this little thing is. It's part of our ship that broke off. Maybe it's the back of the ship. I'm not sure. Um, we've got some stuff going on in here. And I uh, probably should have typed this in. There we go. Uh, so what we've got here is we've got our quest book. It's going to explain some stuff. And when we go in, it's going to give us a bunch of quests. And here's our first one. And, you know, it's going to tell you some stuff. Uh, you're going to have your rewards over here. It's going to ask you for whatever and whatever's there, once you've got it, you hit manual to detect, and hey, you pass the quest. Awesome. What's this all mean? Well, Crash Landing's a difficult mod pack. And uh, like I said, you know, it's it's got a storyline, so we're going to go through that. And what makes it so difficult? Well, we're in hardcore mode. Uh, vanilla Minecraft has hardcore mode. Basically means when you die, the game's over. You don't have any lives. This is a little bit different than that. It, we are in hardcore mode, so if I died right now, this map is over. We have to start over. But we have a sync mod, um, or what I should say is we have a mod called sync. And what that does is it gives us um, the ability to have a clone. And as long as we have a clone, when we die, kind of our consciousness will transfer into the clone and we'll kind of have a second life. Not really, it's not your second life. Um, it's just a way to kind of, I guess, have a second chance. So what we really need to do is we need to get started here. So the first thing, we need to gather some supplies. And uh, I'm not gonna read this to you, but it wants two fluid transposers. Those happen to be right here. There's a crescent hammer. And I'm gonna explain a lot of stuff, but I kind of need to get started. So I hit claim reward because we had these two things. It gave us some water. And we've got our camel pack here. We've got water. So that's three water bottles. And that gives us 75 out of 100. And then, oh, we already had, okay. So I could have gone four. Okay, so that's four water bottles. Now what's that mean? Well, we've got a couple bars down there in the bottom left. The first one, uh, the top left there, is temperature. So 37.79 Celsius. Uh, it's pretty hot. We're out here, it's the desert, it's hot. Very hot planet. There's a little white dot. That is our current temperature. And then to the right of that, there's those two little black, um, I don't know, tabs or whatever on the top and bottom. And that's the ambient temperature, or it's the uh, temperature outside of my body. So you can see we're inside here, you can see those two black things, and you can see my white dot. As I go outside, those two black things are going to move up a little bit. Uh, they actually didn't, but 
Uh, and then as we get over here, they get way hotter. If I stood here for a long time, that white dot is slowly going to start creeping to the right as I heat up. And then if we run away from that, the black dot, uh, two black dots move down. So that's our temperature. If it gets all the way up, uh, yeah, we get heat stroke and we die. So that's one way we can die. Now below that's our water. You already saw me use the camel pack and put some water in. I put four water bottles in. And you can see that other bar down there in the bottom left. And that is our, um, our hydration bar. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. We're going to take this... Uh, needle gun here. We're going to need that in a little bit. Uh, so <clears throat> that hydration bar, 98.6, you can see it slowly going down. When it hits zero, we're dead. Again, the second way you can die is running out of water because, hey, it's hot and it's the desert, so we got to drink water. I could have drank those water bottles and that would uh, make my hydration bar go up. I could also drink the cold water that will make my hydration bar go up and it'll take my temperature down. So why did I put them in the camel pack? Well, basically, four water bottles in the camel pack is going to kind of give you more water than just drinking the four water bottles. So you don't want to drink water unless you have to. You want to put them in your camel pack. So we've covered you can die from getting too hot. You can die when you run out of water. Um, <clears throat> you can also die from mobs that are going to spawn at night. There's a whole lot of mobs that are going to come out. Uh, you can see the sun. Oh, look, it's already heading down. We're in trouble. I need to gather some more dust while I explain some more things. And the fourth way we're going to die is if we run out of food. Uh, right now, I don't have any way to make food. I don't have any way to make water. So we got to... Uh, there we go. Nice stack. So we need to get going here. I'm going to go ahead and do this, too, just so I can see out my door here when I close it in. And we'll do that at night to block out the mobs. So what we need to do, number one, is we need to get a source of water. We also need to get a source of food. So here's our water. we got a little bit of water right now, so that's good. Uh, we've got a little bit of food here. So, we've got this oak sieve, we've got a crafting station. Let's go ahead and do another quest here. Uh, okay, so easy route, hard route. Hard route, we're going to get some ammo, bone meal, a couple trees. Easy route, same thing, a little more ammo, a couple sandwiches, shell constructor, energy cell. I'm going to go ahead and do this. What's that mean? What's the shell constructor? I kind of already explained a little bit. What we have, in addition to hardcore mode, is we have the sync mod. So here it is. It's a shell constructor. It needs power. They've given us an energy cell. It's got a little bit of power. We're going to configure the side here to send power out to the right, which is where this is. I'm going to click on it. This is going to start constructing a clone. You can see it's at 1%. You can see it slowly making it. It's going to build a clone of me, and you're going to see another me in there. What happens is, if I'm outside right now and I die, the game's over. We lose. Once that clone is made, if I'm out here and I die, I will kind of... I don't want to say respawn, but basically I'm just going to pop out right here and... I'll be in that clone. So we'll get to continue. So in that way, you kind of have infinite lives, but only as long as there's a clone. So once this is at 100%, I'll have my second kind of life, but it's using power. There's not enough power to make a second one. So we'll have to find a source of power later. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got that going good. Um, let's see where the sun is. Okay, sun's got a little bit of time left here. Uh, so that's the sync mod, and I took the easy route because it gave me the shell constructor. I could have taken the hard route, and I just would not have had that second uh, chance, and eventually I could have built the shell constructor. So no matter what, uh, we were going to get that. Um, oak sieve here, what's that mean? Normally in Minecraft, there's resources. They're out, they're under the ground everywhere, right? You just go down, you dig and dig and dig, and you find stuff. On this map, there's nothing. We could dig this dust in every direction, all over the place. There's there's nothing there. So how do we get resources? Well, we've got another mod called Xnilo. It gives us this oak sieve. 
And what do we do with that? Well, we take dust, which is outside, it's everywhere, and we sift the dust. And look, what's that? Copper ore. The dust is not empty. The dust has little bits of things in it, and we sift through it, and that's how we get our resources. All of our resources are going to come out of stuff we sift. Okay. Let's uh, go here. Dust, bone meal, and water is going to give us some dirt. I probably should have got the dirt. Um, I already got the bone meal. Okay. Okay, put my crafting station down. Unfortunately, I can't do the dirt now because it's dark. And you can see the mobs starting to come out. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so our first way, <laughs> I'm going to try to explain things, but at the same time, i I got to keep doing stuff. So we're going to take our last water. No, wait. No, we're not. don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and this is going to give us a dirt, right? Yes. Okay. So we don't have any way to make water, right? Well, it's just giving us our first way. If we take dirt and we take an empty bottle, it gives us dirty water. We don't want to drink dirty water um, unless it's an emergency. What you're doing there is you're basically kind of squeezing the dirt and getting a little bit of moisture out of it. Okay, and that gives us our dirt back. Give us two water. Go ahead and use those. Oh wait, we got three? Yeah. Okay, good. I got two sandwiches. I gotta wait for daytime on that. Like I said, I'm gonna try to explain things, but I gotta keep going here. Can't do that yet. Yeah, we need trees, so we really need daytime. Um, okay, so we got a source of water, but we need dirt. So how are we gonna make dirt? Well, we gotta get some trees going, and then I'm gonna show you how to make dirt. Uh, and then we'll get a little source of water going. We need to sift dust. And that's going to get us some more resources. I need to get some stone. In order to do this quest, well, we're going to need um, some zombie flesh, which we'll get from the zombies once they die when the sun comes up. So I can't do that right now. Uh, we're going to need wood to do this quest and some of the tinker tables. Um, I can do this one. Yes, water. Yeah, we can do that. And uh, yeah, we're definitely not doing that one. Um, pretty sure. So one of the ways that we do quests is by opening the quest book, and it asks us for something. Uh, for example, it asked us for this. We had it in our inventory, and then we hit the manual submit button down there. Sometimes it's going to give us like this. So if I had a water bottle, actually I could do that, right? Don't hit escape that many times. Uh, no, I don't have an... Yeah, I do. I have a water bottle. Right, so I, once a water bottle, I've got a water bottle. Boom. Look at that. Gave me a cold water bottle. I would have rather had the water bottle. Um, so that's one way we do it. The other way we can do it, so it wants water. Now, how can I have water in my inventory? Like a square of water. I can't unless I'm in creative mode. So I can't just have that and do manual submit. So the other thing you can do is use the QDS... Which is this thing. It's the quest delivery system. How do you use that? Well, number one, you select the task. And what you're doing is you're basically binding that quest to your book. And then when I click on this, now I've bound that to the QDS. And you can see it tells us there, sapping the sapling. So that's what it's set to. The fluid transposer can empty or fill things. So I'm going to switch it. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to set this, because we're going to put our water here. I think cold water is going to work, and we're going to dump into this, and then I've set it to output on the left, which is where the QDS is. I'm not 100% this will work. We need power. I'm going to use this uh, flux capacitor, which is kind of 
a battery. I could also use my energy cell, but it's making my clone right now. Let's see if this is going to work. Uh, definitely got power. Okay, it's not looking good. Yeah. I cannot use that dirt. I need that dirt. Uh, I don't have any more water. Okay. Yeah, so we can't do that right now. Just kidding. Really, the only other thing I can do is sip some uh, dust. Um, okay, so we'll explain that in a bit. Um, clone is almost done. What I'm going to do right now, I really can't do anything except sift some dust. So I'm going to do that and probably eat in a little bit here, and we will come back in the morning. Okay, so I just finished sifting the dust. It is daytime now. What we're going to do is we need to get outside. First time you do the needle gun, you've got to load it. Once I've done this, as I use this ammo, it's going to automatically reload itself. Okay, so there were some creepers. Ooh, that's a tough spider. A lot of spiders. Oh, there's a creeper. There's a lot of spiders. Wow, there's not normally this many out here, I don't think. all my ammo. My word. Okay. So, I did not expect whatsoever to die in that way. Uh, wow. We're gonna have to start the game over here. Okay. Uh, so we can go ahead and restart this. Um, it's not going to finish. We don't have a source of power. Oh, this is extremely bad. How much ammo do we have? I still got two. Okay. Oh, give us a heart. Whew. Okay. Oh, I need to relog. One of the things that happens when you come out of the sink shell is you got to relog sometimes. You can see I don't have my data down there. So, no big deal. You just have to back out and come back in. And voila. Now we've got our stuff back. Okay, so. I want to go ahead and collect some of this stuff. We are going to need it. Quite a few things. Hopefully we get a little luckier uh, tonight and we don't have <laughs> that many spiders. Um, and like I said before, um, we don't have enough power to make another clone. It's not going to finish. Uh, so if I die, the game is over. Which is not how we want to start the first episode. Okay, so he gave us a piece of dirt. We're going to put our dirt down. Put down our oak sapling. We're going to hope we don't get a giant one right off the bat. Oh, using this bunch. Of, okay. Okay, so I gotta get a couple pieces of wood just to get started here. Probably don't need that, all that. Yeah, let's just make two. Okay, so this is a crook. What's that do for us? Well, if I come out here and break these leaves, well, I'm gonna break the leaves. And I'm gonna get some saplings. The crook is going to give us saplings. I think it's supposed to give us a higher percent chance of getting saplings. We're also occasionally going to get an apple, which is awesome if we could get one. And it's going to 
Um, biggest thing it's going to do is we have a chance to get a silkworm, and we are not going to get a silkworm without the crook. Okay, and I don't think we got anything there. Of course, my inventory is kind of full. I'm surprised I got a mushroom. Uh, okay, awesome. Right, there was nothing. Okay. Um, you can see my water's starting to go down. Uh, that's not ideal. I think we're about out of water. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I really need to get rid of some of this stuff. Okay, I don't need a feather. Uh, where'd my saplings go? Get rid of this. Ugh, it's just a mess. I don't know what that little thing is. What's that? Let's just get inside for a second. Um, so, I do not have a way to make regular water yet, so we're, unfortunately we're going to have to drink that, which we don't want to do. What's that noise? Oh. I do not know where he came from. Always got to have your guard up here. Let us... Okay, what do I not need? Don't need this. Don't oh, God, why don't I have my camel pack in? There's there's why I'm having trouble. Actually, I'm going to need that. I'm going to need this. Okay, back outside. So... We're hoping for an apple. We're hoping for a silkworm. Oh, we got an apple. What do we do with an apple? Well, I'm going to need another piece of dirt. Sweet can't get yet, but what we do with the apple is if we take a sapling and put it with an apple, boom, we get an apple sapling, which is going to give us apples. Oh, and we did, did get a silkworm, so I'm going to show you that real quick. I'm going to go ahead and cut this tree down and get another one up. <clears throat> Eventually we'll have actual tools can't build regular vanilla tools. You gotta use uh, Tinker's Construct, and I'm not quite ready for that yet. Okay, so I would love to plant my apple sapling, but need to uh, do this. Okay, so we have a silkworm. What do we do with that? Well, we stick him in the tree somewhere, and he's gonna infest it. You can see progress there, two, three, four. He's going to slowly infest this. He's going to start spreading. Eventually, the entire tree will be infested with silkworms. And when we break them with the crook, we'll get string. We'll get a whole bunch of string. And we really want string because I've got some. I'm actually just one piece short. One more piece. And I can build a bed. And then we can sleep through the night, which would be awesome. Uh, the other thing we're going to need... I do not know if I got enough iron, did I? No, I'm one piece of iron short. That's too bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to wait for that to infest. And I'm going to collect some more dust and uh, wait for that thing to get infested and hopefully get this going before night, and then we'll be back. Okay, I just got my last piece of iron ore I needed. What we're going to do is combine this together. We're going to get these two things. We're going to need that. Um... Once I get some stones, which I'm going to sift overnight, what I'm hoping... Yes. One piece of string. Excellent. If I can get in the door. What do I do with that other stuff? Do I have it? Um, there we go. Uh, what do I need? Is it planks? <laughs> it's funny, I don't know how to make a bed. Ah, there we go. This is excellent. We're gonna put this. Yeah, I was gonna put it there. It seems kind of stuck out in the room, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Who cares? 
we're gonna skip the night, and that is awesome. Okay. Very, very good. Um, so we're okay for the moment. What I need to do is I need to get some more water, and I need stones. That's the next thing I need to do. I need to get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, yeah, I need to get 24 stones. We need to build a furnace. And what we're primarily concentrating on here is getting some water production going. Um, this is going to keep getting infested. I don't really care. I don't need any more string. So I'm going to go ahead and collect some more dust, and I'm going to sift it until I get 24 stones, and then we'll be back. Okay, we've got 23 stones. We just need one more that we're going to get any second here, which means since I started recording, it'll probably take five minutes, and we'll end the episode with me sifting dust, trying to get the 24th stone. Why do we need the stones? Well, I'm trying to build a furnace. Um... We've got some cold water, and if we had the furnace, we could make that into regular water. Also, I need to uh, smelt down the iron and make a pair of... There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so we got 24 stones, and we get six cobblestone. Put those there. We get two slabs, and there you go. It's a slab furnace, right? Awesome. I'm going to stick that up here. Um, eh, probably use sticks, I guess. It's like technically more efficient. And some more. Okay, two iron ore dust. Awesome. We're going to let that cook up. I need to go out here and just get rid of this tree. And you can see we're going to get a whole bunch of string, which I don't care about right now. Just need to clear the way. Oh, look at all that string. Oh, I guess those are silkworms. That's what I was looking at earlier, and I couldn't figure out what the little thing was in the ground. Yeah, so you get a lot more silkworms out of the infested tree, for obvious reasons, I guess. What we're going to do is get this tree out of the way, we're going to plant a new tree, bone meal it, and we're going to go back inside and get that iron. Okay, awesome. eat something real quick. Need to hurry up and get my inventory organized too. That's not what I want. Okay, we got this. And we're gonna make a pair of vanilla shears. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? Well, uh, okay, oak barrel. So what we can do <coughs> We can put stuff in the oak barrel, so I could put a sapling in there. What else do I have? I definitely don't want to use that. Um, could use that string. You fill the barrel up. Boom. It's going to compost. When it gets to 100%, it's going to turn into a piece of dirt. I can put the piece of dirt in with a glass bottle. We'll get a dirty water. I can cook the dirty water. So that's how we're going to make water for the moment. Um, and of course we'll need wood. Well, I can't just keep going through string. Well, one of the most efficient ways of getting stuff to compost is to use your shears and get leaves. Right? It's also much faster. So we'll come in, we'll get stuck. Need to build and yeah, just build a whole bunch here. Yeah, there we go. I think that one's done. Let's go ahead and get our apple tree going out here real quick. 
try to you can see we're kind of getting low on water so I need to hurry this operation along I could go ahead and cook that up but I'm not gonna worry about it um, okay so we had a whole bunch of leaves somewhere what we're gonna do is compost all this into dirt and then we're gonna combine the dirt with the empty bottles and then we're gonna cook it in the slab furnace with the wood and so on and so forth we're gonna get ourselves a supply of water so I'll be back in just a minute once we get that done okay and we're back so what I've got going here I've chopped down several trees I got another big one here I got my apple tree over there it looks like I got a couple apples I got some chests going on I tried to just organize food and mob drops and wood and you know kind of stuff I've made um, we still need to do that quest I'll work on that later uh, the important thing is we got leaves I just made a second sh set of shears because my first one broke. I got a couple water. I got a bunch more dirty waters I need to cook still. And I got some more waters over here. So we are good for water production. And I think that's a good wrapping up point for this episode. Um, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to play a bit more uh, off camera here. Get my water production up a little bit more. Um, probably sift some more dust and uh, just get ready for next episode where we need to look into some food production. Uh, we'll get back to doing a couple quests and oh, we still really need some power here because I'm going to die the next time I die. <laughs> uh, until next time, see you then.